What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Burster Show. Today we've got episode 3 of Horizon 2, Forbidden West. So in the last episode we just got to chain scrape. Uh, we went and uh, found Aaron. He was fighting a bunch of machines so we saved him again. And uh, then there was a battle towards the mines. We had to clear that out. And then we came back to change scrape. And we got the whistle blown. So now we can leave into uh, Barren Light. And move on with the story. So with that being said, let's do this. Okay. Um, one and two, what's that? Go to Baron Light, override a charger. Okay, I'm gonna go override a charger. So it's uh it's been a while since the uh I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. It's been a while since the last episode. So I've been playing a lot of horror games. I need a little break from the horror games. My heart can't handle it. So I'm here playing Horizon to cool myself down. We got a little valuable cash here. Nice. I don't know why I pressed square to try to get into it when it literally says triangle. I gotta find the best way to approach this. Cause I don't want to get seen. Gotta drop down here. Yeah. There we go. How do I run again? Holding X. Okay. Double tap X to gallop. Be welcome, Elva. Oh. I was about to run into a rock or something. Uh. Ah. Hold on. Let me quick save here. That music is pretty loud. I can barely hear her over the music. I'm gonna turn it down to half. First, I could resupply my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. Um, what do you have to sell? Sorry, the shop is closed for now. No, it ain't. What are you talking about? I'm sitting here looking at all your stuff. There we go. Blue, some blue. I need a leap lasher circulator. Uh, we got explosive trip caster. I don't really care for his, uh, what's this? The shock stuff. I don't, I'm gonna sell that. I don't want it. Okay. Now, I'll take the, what is that, purge water? Purge water bombs. That looks nice. Explosive and purge water. So I can literally just sell my explosive one and then get that one. Okay. Get the explosive one. So I have two now. Alright. I don't really care for the trip caster, to be honest with you. Caster. <clears throat> I haven't 
I hardly ever use that too. I'm talking about when I when I played this by myself on a, on a different character when it came out. But I I never beat the game. Okay, I think that's all for that. Valuables, I sell my valuables. Alright, <clears throat> I think that's, we got that. That's good enough. I should have put it in, I should have put it in. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Equip. Put it over here next to the other one. Yeah, because that's frost, and then that's explosive and purge water. Okay. The name of that deals purge water damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies to see if they are weak to purge water. Any number of purge water will build up the drench state. Okay. It's basically like the other states. It weakens them. And you can do more damage. Okay. Is there a uh, workbench around here? Possibly. Whoa there, pal. Okay. A mini game. I don't really feel like playing. Ah, oh, it's a cook. We got the local stew. Oh, it increases my health, yeah. For sure. I'll buy two of those. Thanks. Now, I just need a workbench. It's probably inside. Or it could be over here, you know, where, the, where it says workbench. Three upgrades available. The frost and the behemoth shortbow. Hmm. I can only upgrade that once. Let's go ahead and do that one. Okay. Let's make this level one too. 75. I want to save. I want to save my metal shards. I want to use them all. So they're upgrading all my stuff. And the game would be too easy. Let's see. Restock. That's right. Oh, what was that? There's errand. That looks like he's had a few. Of course he has. Gentlemen. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Oh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. Uh, Ursa, the embassy. What do you know about the embassy? I meant to pick Ursa. Well, yeah, not much. We'll pick Only embassy first, God I guess. Really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. In case you guys are wondering, I'm vaping on Blackberry Jam. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to be backwards for you. It's, it's it's really good. <laughs> it's basically like butter toast with a uh, blackberry jam spread. I was um. It's tasty. Wondering if you were able to lay unhealthy, but tasty. Like you wanted. 
Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. She would have put them all under the table. Baron Light. <clears throat> what do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. How have things been since and I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. You don't need to be drinking, dude. Put down I the am. booze. I better get going. Oh yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, are you, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is... If you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. I'm sorry, guys. My cat dispenser went off. Okay, I think we're done. Bye. Yeah, don't count it. Be careful out there, Aloy. I don't have my phone out. I should have known that the time of the cat feeder was 6.30. And it is 6.30, but my phone's in my pocket. Lighten up. So I didn't right? see the time. You got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. I apologize. Yes, sir. Why the long face, my boss? Wish you were heading out there? No, sir. Don't worry. If the Tanakh were planning to invade, they'd have done so already. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies. No. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So. What brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studious Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who <clears throat> dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh them left. Hmm. You said something about Tanakh's marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. 
And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Okay. About so the what happens at these embassies exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanath return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Special how? The Tanath are returning one of our own, a soldier by the name of Fashav. He's been their captive for five years. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Wow. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Why does some team believe we can have peace with these barbarians? Beyond me. Well, so if you guys are enjoying this, don't forget to smack that like button. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? <laughs> the Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. Follow complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. You know damn where I'm going now. You can't stop me. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Trust on me. Someone approaching! On a machine! It comes in my nose. Itchy. I think it's a hip hair. A fucking cat hair or something. I'm not trying to sit here and pick my nose on camera. Open the gates, please. It's Do gross. Not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior. I don't care if it's the dowager queen herself. The gate stays sealed until that horn blows. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh. Was hey, that, I know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. 
I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. Well, we have Varl back. Varl! So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. You know, I sense I'm gonna need all that. Oh. Where, where was it? It was right here. Alright. That's just gonna go to my sash. No, I don't wanna skip. That is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You all have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Tattoos, you and the Tanakh going home. Uh, tattoos. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja Sea Ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. 
Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yeah, sure, I tell me. We have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. That's for so measures. When you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate. Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along. And I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hikaru's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut. Thinking that by winning, I could request a boon. My life, or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hikaru stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You the said cool the cool route is a Tanakh's trial oh, by cool combat. Route. Okay. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me. It is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. Service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the Kul Root must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, the marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers. Part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So which so are you? Are you still Karja? Part of me, yes, always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. The Karo and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace, and now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. Okay, that's I think I've heard enough for now. As you wish. Let's get on. You asked it. why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. 
The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Mm -hmm. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner! Hmm. Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? The uh, voice is familiar. No, I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. All Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Kaja, but enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No, the other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. Karja have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless <laughs> threats to intimidate us. Exile. I'm sorry. What? It looks like a raptor. Lancers, form up. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Sirens. Fashav, come with us now, or not at all. Archers, light them up.
Come on, imagine getting hit with an arrow. God, that would hurt. It's like getting stabbed. I'm not gonna make it. So good. What happened? Can you see? It's just it's, a snow. It's a slaughter. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Here they come. Can I even, like, hit him? <laughs> I don't even think I can hit him. Oh, I can. I gotta take out the machine riders on the field. That hit! That's okay, I can make it. Hey. Oh, missed. Oh. I've got this. I got that. Got it. She's hurt. Keep her those weak spots. Cut them all down. Hey, how's that armor? Miss. <laughs> oh man. What do you think you're doing? Get out there, little horse. Put them all down. Get her. somewhere. That was fun. Oh, so easy. <laughs> Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. Yeah. Um. 
Give me that. I want that. You're next, girl. I've never seen a shield like that. Oh. me, boy. Oh, you... <laughs> you suck. Oh, I think I just got hit there. Oh, calm down. I'm trying to make arrows. God, give me that. That was awesome. That was fun. I enjoyed Your that. Turn. Come down here and face me. No. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades. Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals. Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war on Hikaru. Move out! Was I just standing inside a... Uh, Machine. Oh, that was weird. Now. <laughs> what was that? You see that? You gonna make it? Oh my goodness! Some, some was spinning around in a circle. You're going on without me, aren't you? You see it over there, twitching? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to it was the on the right side. And now it's on the left side. Over there in the corner. Hey, Horizon, I think you need another update. I got gotcha. you. Found a bug. It's salvage time, boys. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. I can't wait to use it. Aloy. I'm gonna love it. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. 
Those are Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border, but why... It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. <clears throat> if you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Um... Nah. Nah, I we'll, need to be we'll, on just, my way. we'll be on our way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. Too much talking. More fighting. And don't worry about your That's friends. That's what I want to do. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Level six. Oh, look, I have ten skill points. <laughs> Let's do some skill point uh, upgrades. Okay. Let's do some warrior stuff. Block breaker. R R two R one R one two. All right. Quick trapper traps. Play some faster on the field. Yeah, I'll take that. Skilled scavenger or salvager. Scavenger. Nimble crafter. Craft. Traps potions faster. Um, we'll do this one here. Cover faster or have longer use. Um, low health regen, automatic recovery health sooner when in the critical health state. Yes. Resist more damage when in critical health state. Sound strike deals more damage. You want to do that? Stealth ranged plus, deal more ranged impact damage while in stealth. Do more tear damage on stuff. Impact. There's a machine. Uh, we'll do this. And we got three, three more. Bouncing bomb. Eh. What's this one? This bolt blaster. What's this? Put three in there. I think we'll do that. Alright. Did all the upgrades. Alright, so when I aim with my bow. Okay, let me cross some arrows. Okay, I, uh. Oh, that's not what you do. Oh, 
Okay, so it's already on it because... Do you see in the middle where it says S and Hunter Arrows, where Hunter Arrows, and then below that you have High Volley. So and then you can, you can switch that with the D-pad when you have them unlocked. A whole new frontier to explore. And then the to do to it, you just press to silence and um, R1. Maybe. That's the high volley. It won't be easy out there. Oh, that's what I have in high volley. Regal's machine writers. So you can hold it and aim it. But I'll have to push through it all. Okay. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth. I thought it was the stacking arrows. I like that better. But whatever. That's that's fine too. We'll save it. So that's my level 45. I played a lot, but I, didn't, I just didn't play much of the story. I just ran around, did good spot to test the shield wing. side missions and killing shit. All I did. It worked. I would say I advanced some of the story because I was able to get the glider. Wow. Okay. Guess I can leap off just about any cliff now. Something's going on at that camp. Oh yeah. We'll worry about that later. But I will Our discover this. Look like rusted buckets of scrap. This campfire. You really think you can do that? Group, come on. You know me. I want to get to where we got to go. A lot of ancient wrecks out here. I'm going to have to fight. Huge battle. I'm going to have to fight. The old ones. Who sees me though? They gave everything they had to It's obviously the these people right here. To buy time. Oh, I missed. Missed again. Got him. Give me all your shards. I need as much shards as I can get. Thank you for the charger horn. Oh, I got some adhesive. I don't know if I need that rock, but I had it anyway. Or I grabbed it anyway. If it isn't the hero of the day. Sure, I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working No Man's Land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know? After that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through the stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this, too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. <laughs> and that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. Well, let's hope not. You have unused cold weaves. Uh, inventory to use them. Um, uh, you put one in here. Acid. Okay. Oh, they're locked. Okay.
Do a quick save. You're a lot stronger than you look, Nora. Okay. I um I think I need something for that. To be able to go into that ruin. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Well, we can't go in there yet. Let me call my charter. Alright. <clears throat> oh wait, it's faster to get there. the shelter. Okay, I see it. That thing is huge. It looks like the coordinates Silence gave me matched that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? Um. Do we get a swim over there? Well, let's go swimming. We can hold our breath forever. Okay, catch that fish. <laughs> yes, I can. This is it. The location of the coordinates I scanned from the spider. The workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away to. But what was yeah. he doing here? That device is blinking. Wants me to check it out. Oh. Couldn't activate it during the. Aloy. During her talking. Consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives. I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead. A perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades. In order to render it cooperative, tell her what we discussed. About the mysterious signal that gave you life. Signal that we meant for me. Signal was received for and seven point two two years and ceased. Cannot compromise. Can I reboot? But and it is left to fail. Back to that, are you? Perhaps you need a reminder that you have failed. So you see, Eloy, Gaia can be safely rebooted. As for where to find a backup, well, you need to trot along after me to find out. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. But I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. You can't even speak. Now the processing orb of a Titan on the other hand, well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable. Until interrogations begin anyway. Okay. Some kind of log, most of it. 
Text law, data corruption, minimal, day one. Despite my concerns about missing couplings, it was relative sim relatively simple to install Hades on a detached processing orb. The subject appears to be fully conscious and completely helpless. Even so, it will never divulge its contents or <laughs> its contents willingly. Ergo, it's time for some experimentation. Day two. My initial attempts at coercion have failed, but patience is in order. It's self-aware, so it can suffer. All it takes is the correct stimulus at sufficient intensity. Day five. Success. The irony is delicious. Various forms of data produce discomfort in the subject, but none more so than natural imagery. Holographic representations of plants and animals work best. The more vivid, the better. The effect appears to be excruciating. One loop in particular of rabbits hopping through. Sorry. I don't know where that came from. In particular, of rabbits hopping through a field of flowers produced uh, paroxysms of agony. Very soon I believe the subject will become compliant. Day 6. I've extracted some fascinating technical specs on Gaia's data structure, specifically how her heurist, heuristic matrix interweaved with her sub, uh, subordinate functions. Yet the more I learn about the system's intended workings, and especially Hades' relatively simple role as extinction failsafe, the more I wonder about the signal that corrupted it. What could have possibly transformed a low-level machine intelligence into a fully conscious super entity capable of strategic planning, deceit, and even genocide? Some form of previous unknown Pharaoh software, perhaps. But I don't see how such technology could be sufficiently advanced. Unless further technical discoveries were made after the destruction of the biosphere, perhaps by survivors in Elysium. It all seems far-fetched. Back to the source then. Eventually, Hades will tell me what I want to know. Day 7. It appears that my coercive afford... <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know how to read anymore. It appears that my coercive efforts come, to a come at a significant cost. Hades' digital convulsions produce waves of feedback that corrupt its data structures, and the effect is accelerating. The, interrog the interrogation is quite literal, disintegrating its mind piece by piece. By the time I'm done, there will be little left. No matter the data I've extracted and will continue to extract is worth any price. As long as I can access it, all before the subject becomes the electronic equivalent of a hollowed out skull. Day 10. Finally, the, re the revelation I've been seeking has revealed itself. Astonishing and terrifying even to me. With it, the seeds of a plan have formed within my mind. The next few months will test my capacities more than any previous challenge. I'll have to stretch my intellect to reach higher and dig deeper than ever before. Yes, I'm confident it can be accomplished. With a little help, of course. Day 12. My work here is done. I've learned all I can. Hades deserves no pity, but it, but it is intended in a pitiful state. It's time to relocate it to a more impressive position for its date with destiny. About that, Aloy still hasn't returned to Meridian, nor learned of my r ruse. But she will, it's only a matter of time, and then the pieces will begin to fall into place. Ah, oh, that was a lot of reading. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Uh, yes, he did. Okay, I think I have enough shards to upgrade this now. That'll do. Um, well, I better 
better see where this trail leads. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm, that's what I need to do. Follow the trail. Got a fox bone. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. Oh well, hello there, bird. Do I have to put you down? Fire will make things easier. Got a scrapper over there. Uh, fire and well, I don't have any fire. Well, I don't think fire is gonna do much with that. Or not fire. My uh, everything I've got equipped. So I think we'll just go around all that and not deal with that. That, that seems like this. Silence must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Uh, nothing's over here, little charger. Whatever that is. Merchant. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. Oh, oh there! Hello there. What's Honora doing this far west? I don't know why I'm uh, no standing matter, on top no of the matter. campfire. I can get you stocked up for the wilds if you need. What you got, man? What you got? Nothing I can afford. Well, I guess I could sell one of those for four shards. Not worth much. Well, that does frost. Nothing I can afford. So, keep on moving. They won't find it, it's okay. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's a leaf flasher. Take this thing out. I uh, can't craft that. I don't have any metal bite. Wow, that thing's pretty resilient. And you're down. All I needed. Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. I was saying just all I wanted to do. I don't know. I don't know if that's all I needed. That's all I wanted. A generous supply. Thank you very much. I don't need to do anything with the workbench. Ruin. Okay. See where this goes. Another fox. All right. Use that machine to haul his I bet you you had to shoot it with the arrow to get the best stuff from it. That huh. must be the orb silence stuck Hades in. From that door. Looks like a pharaoh facility. Or a zero dog. Processor. What do I do? Examine. Oh, He's oh. still in there. Oh.
You don't look so good. You are the Aloy. Come to destroy me. Yes. Permanently. Permanently this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured Gaia back up. <sighs> then Gaia is dead. Earth and you too. Despite malfunctions, I have won. Nah. Yeah, one. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Data error. Memory structures disintegrated. Right. Because that would have been easy. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Data error. Memory structures disintegrated. You know, Hades. Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non viable biospheres aborted. Two one five four two one six one two one six eight. So that that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. Current biosphere is version five. There will be no version six. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. State name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Extinction. Master override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. I guess that's enough of uh, him. Is he done for now? Aloy. I see you dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What if I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... using the same spyware, I see. So all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research, as demanding and time intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. Right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? 
voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? I'm ready to go in. All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Eloy. Thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast, but in a situation like this, you say thank you, and I say you're welcome. completely messed up obviously but despite the malfunction you can still get through if you'll be patient for a while longer see those crystals there the asram call them fire gleam they're combustible not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that but maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more exactly it will only work with an igniter I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lashes power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Sweet. Wow. Alright guys, I'm going to call it for this episode of Horizon 2. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you guys stuck with me this long, I appreciate you. And I hope you press that like button. And if not, it's okay. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.